Now, how did the man let himself get scared twice? Like, he really went back for a second. Yo, what up all you good people out there and welcome back to the channel. All right, folks, in this episode today, we're about to kick back and watch some TikToks that just might make you rethink reality. Now, fair warning, some of these TikToks might have you sitting back in your chair like, what is this? What in the? No way. That poor security guard trying his best to help. Now that's a true hero right there, folks. Besides my social anxiety, this is one of the reasons why I hate crowded places. Imagine your city wants to honor you by giving you a sculpture of you falling into damnation. And you got a fake smile through it. That's nasty work. The fact that there's going to be people in the comments, Charles, no, it's so beautiful. It's so good. It's not. It's not, and if you look at him long enough, he don't want this, he don't want, y'all don't know about sculpture or foundries. He don't want a 3D printed, state ID version of him falling into a white person's consciousness to exist forever. Look at that, look at the rub of the nose. He doesn't want that. Melt it down, turn it into pennies, or start over. He's more than that character, he's an actor. That's nasty work. He looked at that sculpture as if he was viewing a body at a funeral. The amount of projects he's been in since then, like they had ample choices. So would you like to know a little bit of New Orleans history right here? Do y'all see what's right above my head? Above these gates that should be opened up right now, but they're closed. You see them spikes? That's to keep people from climbing over. If you look on top of that wall, they got glass shards on top of that wall. And the reason why and so that way nobody could jump that wall and try to rob or steal for the people that live there actually. So it's a little defense mechanism. I don't know what kind of insurance you gotta have to be able to do that, to put glass on your fence to keep people out. But I'll tell you what, the city of New Orleans or something else, like, look, they got little fences on top of all the doors and little buildings and walkways. So you ain't got to get worried about getting robbed out here. So you try to jump on top of that wall, you're going to get a big old piece of glass in your hand. That's for sure. Yep. So be careful um, when you're out here. Don't try to jump no random walls while you're in the city of New Orleans. All right, y'all. But y'all have a good day. Okay. But what did I just come across? So I'm sure we've all seen this image of P. Diddy by now. Um, but I looked closer and realized that one of these uh, officers in this image is actually Heath Ledger. Uh, this picture is from a movie called Monster Spall, starring Heath Ledger and P. Diddy. Interesting. I don't think that anybody knew that Heath Ledger and the Diddler used to hang out. And as a matter of fact, Rebecca White, Naomi Campbell's former assistant, said in part, quote, The first time I met him at Puff Daddy's house in Los Angeles, Heath asked Naomi for Coca-Cola. And this is according to Daily Mail. This Naomi Campbell featuring Ghislaine Maxwell. But wait, that's not all. She was also connected to Kevin Spacey and Diddy. You know, this Kevin Spacey? Oh, and here's something else. TMZ reported the following. You know who else passed away from pneumonia? Bernie Mac, Brittany Murphy, and Diddy's ex, Kim Porter. This is for entertainment purposes only, and this is all alleged. What are your guys' thoughts on this? Yo, watch this. They be trying to yeah, tell us demons don't exist. Kept smoking in the bathroom. <laughs> Sister. Yes, yes, Amalia, yes. Are you okay? David, could I see you? They can't you? even see the demon, but yes. it's there. I hope you're not holding my smoking against me, sister. I don't smoke anymore. No, no, Amalia. It's just a spiritual matter. We'll be right back. Oh, demon, in between them. There's a demon in there. There's... What does that mean? It means there's a demon in there between them. It has its hands on their shoulders. I didn't see anything. Because you're not as good. They be what telling on themselves in these shows. What do you see? My feet. No. There's a trail of slime here. Like a snail. Are you sure? Don't patronize me. What do you want me to do? I want you to find out what the issue is. There's something possessed in their marriage. They've only been married a week. It doesn't matter. If it's there was something literally in between their marriage. 
a demon possessing their relationship. This is what happens. Demons are real. Demons are real. Don't allow people to literally tell you they're not. This is what happens and it causes problems and it's issues when the whole time there's a whole entity behind the issue. Yeah, for a fact, demons live and walk among us. If you ever want to check it out, the show is called Evil and it's on Paramount. Not as scary as it may look, but definitely a good show. Yo, Bill Bear Wallen. Crazy. What up, gang? What's up? What's up? Not deep out there. Wolves are so majestic and beautiful, but yeah, this guy lost me once he slid that door open. What's going on here? Oh, my, 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 my. Okay, I do not know what's going on right now. I heard a noise. I come outside. There's sirens blaring, and I see this huge trail in the sky. Yes? A cap no police? And it's quiet, as if they're waiting for something. It's midnight right now, and there's this huge trail like something crash landed. What the heck is that? What is this? Expecting something, preparing for something. Look over here, let's walk over here. Come on, come on, let's walk over here. Someone out there had to have captured a video of it. Come on now. Like rain camera footage or something. Why'd you make us work that day? Why? We shouldn't have worked. We shouldn't have been there. None of us should have been there. Peter Jarvis was working at Impact Plastics Factory in Irwin, Tennessee, when Hurricane Helene caused floodwaters to rush in. I said, can we leave? And the woman said, no, not until I speak with Jerry. About 10 minutes later, she came back and said, y'all can leave. It was too late. 11 employees were swept away in the waters. Jarvis and four other workers were rescued, but two died. Rescue crews are still searching for four others, and that includes 29-year-old Rosa Andrade. She knew that maybe she wasn't going to be able to get out, especially if she doesn't know how to swim. In a video statement, the CEO of Impact Plastics denied the factory made the workers stay. The findings are that employees were told to leave the plant at least 45 minutes before the gigantic force of the flood hit the industrial park. There was time to escape. Employees were not told at any time that they would be fired if they left the plant. To our knowledge, no one perished while on company property. The state of Tennessee has opened two investigations to determine the circumstances that led to the workplace fatalities. The company says it is cooperating with those investigations. The audacity of that CEO to make any statement that's not a heartfelt apology to the families and workers, like, wow. Impact Plastics over here, like, oh, they're just a number. People will forget about them. If you haven't heard about this yet, people are now starting to hear these really scary and loud noises all across the sky, all over the world, but scientists still do not know what they are. So these bizarre sky quakes are being heard around the world, but scientists have yet to uncover what they are. I'm going to show you the full video in just a minute so you can hear it for yourself, but they're saying that there's a lot of potential theories to what is going on, but there's not a definitive answer, so nobody knows. Scientists have considered that the booms may be meteors exploding in the atmosphere, military testing, 
hosting or even related to storms or earthquakes. However, people are hearing it without storms or earthquakes. Even though everybody's calling these skyquakes right now, seismologists are unsure whether tectonic activity and these sounds are even linked in the first place. And then if you want to hear what I'm talking about, this is the video. <laughs> Strange sounds are being heard around the world. In Sweden, this sure sounds like a trumpet. In Michigan, another trumpet-like sound. Obviously, like I said, scientists have not been able to figure out what exactly that is yet, but I will keep you updated. I think part of why Kamala is getting so much support is that uh, if, if Trump wins, that Epstein client list is going to become public. And some of those billionaires behind Kamala are terrified of that outcome. Do you think Reed Hoffman's uncomfortable? Yes. Yeah. And Gates. And Gates. Trump being elected president again or not, I don't believe we'll ever see that list. The fact that Elon said this out loud, though, has me surprised. Big gave him that name. And Big was laughing when he gave him that name. And somehow Big knew that giving him that name was going to make him the laughing stock of hip-hop. Because we know it came from Donkey Kong. I've said this a thousand times. Donkey Kong Jr. on that video game was Diddy Kong. So Big was calling him a little monkey back then. He just didn't know it. Now watch, somebody going to look that up and they're going to see that there was actually a Diddy Kong. He, ch he changed his name, but Big knew something. Big had to know something because he was laughing when he gave him that name because Puff was threatening him about his publishing. That was the last night we was in the studio. Anyone who's ever played Donkey Kong knows there's a Diddy Kong. Fun fact though, that game actually came out the same year I was born. What are the biggest warning signs that somebody has mold issues? Number one would be serious, serious brain fog, not being yes. able to have a thought. Like heads in the clouds, you almost feel like you're disconnected from your body. Second thing would be severe anxiety that has come up all of a sudden. Things that were small are amplified very big mm. because of the toxicities of the uh, mold. Another one is severe muscle pain. Severe fibromyalgia type is symptomatology. When people have those three top, yeah. those are probably my indications I'm dealing with mold. And let me just say like with that, yeah. with the fibromyalgia, I'll say this triggered by uh, scents. If they smell something and they're very sensitive to like asphalt or or pesticides like they were never sensitive before probably mold in their lungs yeah, and i want to mention one other symptom people will have is if they get around mold again once they get away from it or yeah you know, then, then boom the symptoms like you walk into a moldy hotel or a moldy home you yeah. all the, the symptoms can come on pretty quickly definitely okay so let's just say you have a nike plant in china right and you have the machines that make the real nike shoes well every few years New technology comes out, so they have to get rid of the machines. So they sell the machines. It's not even that. It goes deeper than that. It goes deeper than that. So okay. say Louis Vuitton or Nike or whatever. Yeah. Let's say from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., you're pumping out sneakers, okay? Then you got the factory manager. <laughs> and you got a dude saying, hey, man, here's $100,000. You don't make this in a year. Yeah. All right. Turn the machines on. We're going to run those machines from 7 p.m. until 3 a.m. now. Yeah. And pump out shit. Now, a couple of things might be missing here and there, but for the gist of it, most of them are being made. So, like, you know, some of the shit's being made at the same spot. Yeah. It's like crazy. With the same machines. Yes. It's just these are four movies that expose the truth about reality. They always put the truth in plain sight and especially movies. So watch to the very end to see which movie has the most truth in it. For number one, we got They Live. This movie is about a man that was able to put on shades and see life for what it truly was. This also represents waking up and seeing the world for what it actually is. Now I ain't gonna lie, this shit is true but scary at the same time. Leave a like on this video if you already feel like you're wearing these glasses. And you know I had to include The Matrix. This movie reveals that most people are living in a false reality full of lies and control. And everybody can either wake up to the truth or stay asleep. But if you decide to wake up, you'll see how corrupt the world truly is. And most people don't even know. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. 
This movie also talks about being the chosen one because all the chosen ones are different and have special gifts. Comment chosen if you feel like you're the chosen one. Next y'all, we got Avatar. First, it reveals the concept of traveling to different worlds and taking the form of an avatar. And you do the exact same thing every time you dream. And if you look in the mirror, you are your own avatar that you customize every single day. Now, the director of this movie said that your imagination creates reality. So the world that he created was an example of how powerful your imagination is. And since he brought it to reality, that proves that you can do the same thing. And last but not least, y'all, we got Doctor Strange. This movie shares the importance of going within yourself to unlock your full potential. And separating from your ego is the key to unlocking this potential. But not everybody believes that it's there. There is no such thing as spirit. But once you open your mind and tap in with yourself, you realize how powerful you truly are. And that's when you become aware to all the possibilities life has to offer. Not gonna lie, I could have predicted all those. I don't know about you guys, but I love these type of movies that expose the truth. So here's the deal. Why does a singer, a pop star, get up at the uh, musical awards and all of a sudden from behind the curtain comes this guy dressed up in an alien suit, right? A typical gray. And she goes and she embraces it. And everybody kind of laughs and yucks it up. Bottom line is, and we have a film on this, it's number four in our UFO series, it's on abductions. This is nothing to laugh at. People are taken and they are forced into sexual acts with these entities. Why should that surprise any of us? Their seed will mingle with the seed of men but they will not cleave to them. Ancient prophetic text, Daniel 2, verse 43. Look it up yourself. Whose seed are we talking about? Their seed? Who are they? Their seed will mingle with the seed of men, but no cleaving, no marriage. That's exactly what we see. What we're looking at, in my opinion, is predictive programming. And, and the masses are being sort of raised up into accepting this whole so-called extraterrestrial paradigm, but it's not. These are nefarious interdimensional beings, with a very, very bad end. I'm L.A. Marzulli. Have you heard about spiritual psychosis? No. What is that? Oh my gosh. This is a really scary thing. My best friend's studying to be a psychiatrist, right? Okay. She's in like to med prescribe. school. Okay. Yeah. And we were talking and after about the age of 25, our frontal lobe develops, right? Yes. And people, that's when either people like become super religious out of nowhere because it's usually schizophrenia mm. and underdiagnosed schizophrenia at the age of 25 and they say a lot of people that experience schizophrenia are extremely religious yeah yes. you know what's fascinating my mom had schizophrenia and every time she would have an episode or a crisis she would just go crazy with like religiosity she would be going like door to door and like telling people that like my brother was the second coming of christ and all this really oh shit. my god yeah i think there's definitely a connection schizophrenia mm -hmm. and religion for some reason i don't know what it is the hyper fixation of like transcending evil well then you can't say like someone's like i feel the jesus in me they think they're religious not crazy if I were to walk in and say the FBI is after me, people are going to be like, 5150, lock her up. But if I was like, Jesus is here with me right now, they'd be like, amen, sister. Yeah, the correlation between these two things is so insanely high and needs to be talked about a lot more. Schizophrenia varies from culture to culture, which is a super interesting rabbit hole to go down. You can have a religious experience, but it becomes psychosis once you lose touch with reality. What we know about time, what we know about time shifting, time traveling, what all it's all they didn't, they not telling us nothing. The feds have the feds and the CIA have just released the gateway experience showing you how you can do uh remote viewing. You can literally be in one place and you can shift your consciousness into a whole nother place and you can know who's there, you can hear them talk, you can know the dimensions of the place, you can walk around this whole place in your astral body and it's called the Gateway Experience. This is actually unclassified documents of them showing, it's called the Hemisync, how you can literally sync all of the different hemispheres of your brain and you can actually have a magnitude of electrical magnetic frequencies to push your consciousness anywhere you want to push it on, on Earth or in this realm. So there, and then they got the hydro collider where they're using melanin particles and they're bending reality and they're opening up different wormholes and portals to different dimensions that's already here on earth, but we are not vibrating at these spectrums and frequencies. So we can't see behind this veil that we call the universal reality. So these are technologies and these are certain types of practices and clinical trials that our military have been doing for the last 50 years, time traveling for the last 50 years, hemi seeking from the last 50 to 60 years building these spaceships since the 90s was here and they're finally now coming out saying no these are you know ufos no these are hemi do exist 
You know what I'm saying? The gateway experience do exist. Astro projection is real. The chakras is real. Aligning your chakras and, and pushing energy through your meridian pathways can open up a love frequency. These different frequencies can heal certain parts of your body. So everything that they've been putting in the sci-fi uh, movies, they're now coming, they're now unclassifying documents showing that all of it is real. So if all of these things are real and if time traveling is real, all I'm saying is, and I'm not saying it's just concrete, but this is what I'm thinking. What happened if the alien grays is us in the future coming back, their past time traveling in the past, coming back to warn us on how to stop this catastrophic event that's finna happen and they just letting us know, look, here go the technology. Let's get do away with this technology. Start growing more trees. Have everybody in your household grow, grow their own food. You see that? Start cleansing up your water systems. Quit trying to wage war to make a dollar. Quit trying to sell on because you running out of money, America. Like, there's so many things that's going on in this inside of society, and, and they're putting it on television like this is leading up to this one. It's really a whole nother agenda before, behind all this. The veil is very thin. I take this very seriously as one who can see. But if it doesn't appear to be friendly, you can take a bell and off they'll go. And many healers in their healing rooms they actually have bells or chimes hanging from the four corners of the room. Everybody wants to know, why'd you walk away from $50 million? I was walking away from the circumstances that, that were coming with the newfound plateau. Yeah. I mean, you see before, look, Mariah Carey made a $100 million deal, and three months later, she's all of a sudden mysteriously crazy. Or Martin Lawrence punches through, and he's waving a gun on the street, screaming, they're trying to kill me. Yeah. Would you say you lost your mind, sort of? No. No. Not exactly. Okay. I think this is the moment that Dave Chappelle realized that Oprah is one of them. Like, she is definitely not on our side. Dave stood his ground, though. I give him credit for that. realize that there's truly only been one person one person that has punked this man michael myers one person that has made him look like an absolute yes that is correct that person being busta rhymes i don't know if you remember most people read it from their memory but busta rhymes was in halloween resurrection and this man made michael myers look like an absolute fool oh shit man charlie where the f you been at man don't you know we've been looking all over this for you and why the hell you dressed like me anyway I ain't telling you to be Michael Myers. I'm playing Michael Myers. If them kids come around and see us dressed up in the same shit, you're going to ruin the whole effect. Ah, right, damn it. The hell is wrong with you? I said, what you looking at me like that for? Huh? You don't get it? You don't get it? Your shit ain't working up there or something? You need to take your ass in the back of the garage with Nora. That's your job. Go back there with Nora and help her ass out. Go do your job. I left the back door unlocked for your ass to go out the back into the garage. That's what I did. You need to get the hell out of here. Go ahead, scoop, skedaddle. Get the out of Dodge. This man really said, I'm the real Michael Myers. He told that man to scoop skedaddle yeah i hate to say it but i got a feeling he's absolutely wrong michael understood that he can now go around without sneaking because the others would think he's busta rhymes he used that information accordingly maybe he knew busta been to them diddy parties and wanted no part of that role play under the earth there are seven more planets that are discs what yeah seven flat worlds pretty much i'm the only We're all one good. who can show you from astrology from the bible and from the east and from all traditions how they all syncretize and concur that the earth is a stationary horizontal plane i 
You have to do it like that. If you don't do it like that, you can't do it properly. You can't just have one angle. You can't just say, oh, all the scientific experiments that have been conducted prove George Airy, James Bradley, Sunyak, Michelson Morley, they all prove that the Earth is stationary and that's your one angle. You can't just have one angle. I'm coming from the Jewish tradition. I'm coming from Bhagavad Gita. I'm showing how the Bible proves it with great etymological proofs. And no one else is doing that. I do that and all the other angles. Is this a dimension? Are we living in an energy force that has multiple layers you know the Kabbalistic tree right there it is there the ten sephiroth your ten fingers there's uh Keitha and there's Malkuth the earth so is it a dimension yes it is but it's all these things from Keitha to earth which is ether to earther same word so if you're asking what's the earth well it's just ether in a gross more solidified form there are certain people who come to Earth at certain times, times of great crisis, to try to help to sort things out. And they are just the Godhead in a physical body. Um, this great transformation of Earth that's um, already beginning to, to is already underway, um, is being guided, not by yours truly alone, but by the whole of creation. Because if this planet is destroyed, the whole of creation is thrown into chaos because, you know, planets and stars are not there because the Godhead fancies it. Wouldn't it be pretty? Everything is there. It has a purpose. It has a meaning. It has a reason for existing. And if one of the planets or whatever ceases to exist because of the way we treat it, then the whole of creation is threatened. The best way to gain control of the most intelligent, powerful species on the planet would be to completely divide them from the love within themselves. As soon as they are old enough to begin creating an understanding of who they are, force them into a system that teaches them that it is wrong to be yourself if yourself is different from what is accepted as normal. Confuse them about their own biological makeup so that they think that permanently altering their body is the answer to happiness. Require their daily attendance at an institution that makes them focus only on the information that is provided. Make them attend that institution from age 5 until an adult and repeatedly test them on the information so that it becomes their truth. Give them an explanation to everything so that they never have a chance to make their own assumptions of the world. Scold them and humiliate them if they suggest an opinion that opposes that of their authoritatives. Keep reminding them of how cruel their ancestors were to each other in the past and broadcast how cruel they are to each other in the present. Only show them tragedies on the news so that they live in fear and think the worst of one another. Convince them that their species used to be that of an incognizant wild animal. Make them think that their very existence is so incredibly random that they lack purpose and struggle to make sense of a creator. Tell them that their kind is as smart as they've ever been so that they don't question the integrity of the system that they're in. Provide them idols with artificial beauty and use them as examples of what it is to look perfect so that they are never content with their own appearance and can't help but to compare themselves amongst each other. Create addictive digital platforms that rank them by numbers so that they base their self-worth off of the amount of followers that they have and are never satisfied. Manipulation of the mind of the masses, all to feed the elite's greed. All they want is destruction of the soul, body, and mind. I only hope more people wake up and actively do something about it one day. The Vegas Dome did it again, y'all. I don't care what y'all say, bro. The, the eyes are going to see to see this shit, yo. They breaking the firmament, right? Pete, who do y'all think that would be, yo? If that was supposed to be, you know what I mean? I think that's somebody that they are expecting, bro. And then Pete this shit. Y'all, this just happened like two hours ago. Bro, what do y'all think that is, bro? What is that symbolizing, man? Y'all already know. Oh my God. That truth in plain sight is real. Look at this shit. I don't care if y'all say this is for a concert, a show, a, a NASA takeoff, you feel me? Bro, this is subliminal messaging right here. Just my personal opinion, for entertainment purposes only, CERN. What else do y'all recognize about this, right? Peep this. Pay attention, yo. Do y'all see it or no? Peep. Yo. I think that explains it. It's not just me that has been feeling this whack-ass energy. Like, the energy at the minute is just a bit weird. Like, very peaceful very grounded but also this feeling of like it's the calm before a storm is coming like where the environment gets really calm it gets really quiet and then something big's gonna happen and it makes sense because we now have two moons
And back in ancient times, having two moons in orbit was an ill omen. Look into the Aztecs, look back to 2007, 2008, look back at 2020, we all know what happened then. Some of you really do need to start believing in astrology. It's not even something to believe in, it's something to turn to, to really start understanding certain things. Prepare yourself, guys. Prepare yourself. Something is up for sure. I feel like we're in a waiting room between timelines. My anxiety has been having anxiety with a side of anxiety recently. I just feel stuck sometimes, you know? Did you guys know that Jay-Z's birthday is December 4th, Diddy's birthday is November 4th, and Beyonce's birthday is September 4th, Jay-Z had an album 444, Leah died August 25th, Left Eye died April 25th, Michael Jackson died June 25th. In J. Cole's song, he says, rest in peace, Aaliyah, rest in peace, Left Eye, Michael Jackson, I'll see ya just as soon as I die. This is a song that has been trending, which is She Knows by J. Cole. A lot of people are saying She Knows sounds like Sean Knowles. Jay-Z's name is Sean. Diddy's name is Sean, just spelled differently. Beyonce's last name is Knowles. Sean Knowles, She Knows, Sean Knowles, She Knows. What is going on here? J. Cole also referenced Apple Pie, which is a Destiny's Child song named Apple Pie. Another crazy thing is when Beyonce made her country album, recently a country star shouted her out. Thank you, Beyonce, just like how everything, you know, that we've been seeing on TikTok the country star did it too. I also just want to say I'm a country artist and the fact that Beyonce made a country record changed the game. With the theory being that you have to thank Beyonce in order to be okay, it's just wild and all of these theories coming together, I don't uh, I don't know if they make sense, but I think the craziest thing is Jojo Siwa thanking Beyonce. <laughs> Oh my god, what just happened? Christopher Columbus has been discovered. This is breaking news. I want you to hear the sound of my voice. I was asleep and my brother was calling me. He's like, they found him, bro. Christopher Columbus estaba perdido, just like you, DJ Logan. And they found him. And I'm like, hey, what happened? You mean the, the guy that messed it up for the entire world and discovered the Americas? He's like, damn, you really feel that way? Yes, I do. The chingas of madres away. But what happened? Well, it turns out... They found his remains in the church, La Catedral de Seville, out uh, in Europe. Now, um, I want to make this very clear. To the people who discovered his remains and who were able to DNA technology his bones, y culo, hey, this is Christopher Columbus. Congratulations. I'm glad that science has advanced in such a way that we can find out who is who. Um, do us a favor, put it somewhere for the Chihuahuas to have something to chew on. Yo, man, this Tone from Tampa, man. Tone from Tampa, what's up, brother? How, how was everything out there? It, it's a little like rain right now, heavy wind, but I'm going to just keep it above, man. It, this ain't where it's at, man. Y'all going to say y'all right in the middle of it. The eye going to hit, the eyes hitting Tampa from what the, the map shows right now. Man, bro, my heart, bro. I, I'm scared, man. And then... We still, we still recover from Helene, and it's like, bro, I'm, I want to get this off my chest, bro. This government is playing in our faces, man. It don't matter if it's Republican or Democrat. They playing in our faces, bro. You get Ukraine come over here, they get what they want. You get immigrants come over here, they get what they want. And you got people being denied these FEMA applications that you talking about the other day, Charlamagne. Mm -hmm. People being denied, bro. Mm -hmm. But you getting these migrants coming over here $10,000 food stamps, bro. Fuck your goddamn $5,000 cash stipends, man. Mm. This shit hurting, bro. We we finna, we finna get ready to damn near die, bro. Mm. A lot of people couldn't afford to evacuate. And this government planning our fucking face, man. Damn. I feel for you, bro. I, I, I totally understand, my brother. Absolutely. It don't matter what they is, Democrat, Republican, they all treason, man. They all about money, bro. None of these people care about American people, bro. This shit hurt, bro. This shit hurt, bro. People wake up every day just want to live their life, bro. And you got these fucking greedy snakes, man. You got these fucking greedy snakes. Call themselves uh, uh, government service people, bro. And they don't give a damn, bro. They don't give a damn about the migrants coming over here. They using them too, man. This shit ain't right, man. You're absolutely right, my brother. I can't wait to back, man. Nah, yeah, I, at that some, I mean, you hear what he said? He said he can't wait till God come back. He's absolutely 100% right. Mm.
Because at, at some point, I don't know who else can uh, help a lot of people other than the most high. Man, that got me a little emotional over here. He ain't lying, man. It's getting serious out here, whether you're in Florida or not. This is more of a spiritual battle than we realize. The ringing in the ears, the sleepless nights, the vivid dreams, the repeating numbers, the itching all over your body, the intense pain that you are feeling throughout your body, the intense headaches that you are experiencing, the pain that you have been feeling in your spine, the anxiety, the sadness, and the confusion, that feeling of impending doom, that feeling of thinking that you are losing your mind, when the truth of it is that you are actually awakening to the truth within you, the fact that all your family and friends have turned their back on you. The world is not ending. You are awakening to your truth and you are transitioning from your 3D consciousness to your new 5D consciousness. All of it is part of this transition, this shift. Be easy on yourself, beautiful soul. All of this is happening for a reason. None of it is negative and all of it is positive. The great awakening of humanity is here and the shift is happening now. You are living through it. This is what we fought lifetime after lifetime for and it is time to get excited again. Life is about to change for the better. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, that dog is cooked. How he get inside the... Oh! Oh, I'm bugging. I didn't know that he was thugging. Oh, that boy a freak. Oh, that shit stink. Damn, that shit stink. She boofing. Damn, bro, look like somebody I know. Pause. Why is it blowing kisses? Yo, what's up? Oh, it's clapping. It's trying to clap me? Hey, yo! Man, why does you got a schizophrenic monkey? Bro beefing with his own leg. Like, that shit's trying to rip his face off. How is your ops your own leg? Hey, throw that ass in the circle. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. Yo, that's Meg the Baboon. Oh, this zoo is cheap as hell, bro. I don't know how they did it, but they got a homeless orangutan. Like, y'all can't get, bro, a retwist or something? Yeah, somebody gonna lose their job, bro. I ain't no scientist or nothing, but I don't think elephants is supposed to be in an aquarium. Damn, little bro is feeding for a drink out of my water. That's crazy. Free y'all, bro. Nah, bro, they gotta shut this place down. You know how bad it gotta be to have the animals praying for freedom? Outside with my tiger, you heard? I wish somebody would run up. We spinning the eye black and shit. My boy hungry. He finna need eye. What zoo is this man at? The first clip had me so lost. Like a tiger, a lion, and a dog. Elephants in the aquarium. Like what? All right, my good people, that shall be a wrap for this one. Really hope you all got a kick out of this episode. Be sure to drop a like below this video. And if you're new to the channel, why not go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure to let me know what you think about these TikToks down there in that comment section. All right, you guys, take care out there and I'll see you all in the next episode.